Inside smelled like a hundred dirty socks. Now the weather was part to blame. It seemed that a dust storm from the west met a thunderstorm from the east and wham, mud muckier than a pot of chickpeas and molasses plopped right down on a town called Sanctified Flat. Now the pigs loved it, but the cowboys, they headed for cover. They packed in tighter than a... Well, if my mama could see this wake of human debris, my mama would burn the place in righteous indignation because we loud and crude, we got no aptitude for civilized, polite domestication. I'm so sorry, mama. What this town needs is a lady, somebody to keep us in line. The swinging doors burst open. I, I seen him! Benji, the pipsqueak livery kid, burst in yelling. Hey, I seen him up on the ridge! But nobody paid him a blank stare. Hey, Sarge! The boy made his way over to Theo Spee's, the defected cavalry man. I saw the rider! But Sarge just growled at Benji, gave him a shove for dripping in his sassafras. So the boy made his way over to Hop McDuff, the traveling shyster, selling his miracle veal rod potion guaranteed to bring a lovely woman into your life. <laughs> but he couldn't get a word around Hop's spiel. Then he spied Six Finger Bob's ratty old beard and his renegade spikes of hair. Come along for the ride. Except before the chiggers and the dust and the lice Being a cow punch, you're pert and near nice If you don't mind sleeping on the frozen ground And eating beans and beans and beans and beans and beans Maybe you get lucky, some swamp mud greens, yeah Now if road runners and tumbleweeds If they pacify your social needs And you don't mind washing with lime soap once a year Don't forget to scrub behind those ears you Got to share your boots with a rattlesnake If you can ride three nights and stay awake And make coffee out of water the cows wade through Ooh. It's mountain grown then you betcha, uh-huh, cowboys for you. <laughs> Frustrated, Benji turns to the whole room. Hey, I just saw the invisible cowboy, everybody. He's coming to set stuff right. Don't no one care? <laughs> Seemed that no one cared. Benji felt a tap on his shoulder. Hey there, little luffer, what y'all hollering about? It was Skeeter Briggs, the town sheriff. Skeeter was the tallest and the skinniest man anyone around had ever seen, and his voice squawked like a teenage rooster. And when he talked, his head would bob from side to side. It seemed his neck couldn't quite hold his skull in place. I just saw the invisible cowboy, but no one cares. The invisible cowboy, son, son. He don't come pot on dust pans like sanctified flat. We used to think he might, but not no more. But then something dreadful happened. The whole place went dead, mute as a church wake. As a shadow swallowed the room, as two hands ripped the doors off their hinges, and a man stepped through. A man dressed in black burlap and oily buffalo skins. His fire black eyes fixed right on the table. Oh no, squirmed the gambler. Look, it wasn't my fault, Mike. I, I can make it right. The gambler was whimpering like a snake bit coyote. The suave was suave no more. Mean Mike strode at him, panting like a gourd bull. Look, you hurt my feelings. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Mike. <laughs> but Benji seemed to break the spell. He marched right up to Micah Wicked and said, Mr. Wicked, I would like to be one of your cowboys, sir. Uh, I'm old as lots of your boys, and, and I can learn quick. Frypan started a chuckle that caught and grew till the whole mob was crowing like coon dogs. Well, why not, said Benji. The laughter died as Wicket spoke. 
You ain't got it in your blood, the cowboy. <laughs> you never have, and you never will. Every day, sun up, sun down, he shoveled the stable floor. Every night, Benji would sit by the stars for vigil, just watching. Cause somewhere there he was out galloping on the prairie And someday Benji would see him But the days they cantered by Nothing changed Benji's paw had always tilled the land Ohio was cleaned up so he came western to Colorado He cut a home there, raised a family Now the ranchers near festered at him and his farming ways The first of war to come, they fumed they fumed. There'll be fences and plowed rows and then city stuff to follow. At first it was a word. It all started with a high-pitched moon sound. <laughs> kind of like a choir of heifers with a bad vibrato came wolfing in down the street. Frypan and a couple of junior cowpokes had just shuffled out of Job's place where Frypan was bragging about his recipes for horny toad chili. What the blazes? Grub worm, get out of this town before we string you up. Sheep and cattle don't mix. Come on, boys. Let me come with you. Let me walk at your side. Let me stand in your shadow, let me ride, let me ride. Benji looked again into the heart of the fire. He felt the heat consume him, quenching his desire. And then it all went limp, and his spirit sunk in despair. For a figure walked out from behind the flame Just the shepherd standing there You, said Benji, pale and weak I, I, I thought I saw a horse in white well, I'm the only one here, said the simple man L Let's camp here for the night At that moment, something died inside Benji. All of his hope of ever finding this invisible cowboy just gone up in smoke. There never was an invisible cowboy, Benji thought. I've just been this old man's fool. So Benji made up his mind. He would leave. Teach himself to be a cowboy. It happened. He pulled out his gun and he fired all six shots into the air. Silence. But after a moment, he heard a rumble that grew and then exploded into the thunder of 12,000 hooves as the cattle stampeded towards Sanctified Flat. Ah, this boy looks familiar, said Job. I, I don't like hanging someone when they look familiar. <laughs> but justice is justice. Colonel Benji piped. You saw him. And when he comes, he's going to set you straight. That may be, but there ain't no hero for you today. Now, is there, boy? Yes, there is. <laughs>